Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Today I'm doing some plant chores. Let's go. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights so I've got the Tredescanthia Nanook for three weeks now and I've been wanting to repot it and I think today's finally the day. I also want to try propagating it. I would like a more compact, bushier growth than just having a few stems growing out of it. Now for the soil mix, I'm going for about three parts potting media and one part pumice. They don't have to be exact ratios by the way, you can just eyeball them. I would have honestly preferred perlite, but my garden center didn't have any and pumice is too chunky for this small planter. <laughs> but we have what we have. And mix, mix, swirl and mix. I'm just crushing this compacted soil. About an inch or so of soil on the bottom would suffice. To propagate the Tredescantia, I simply cut between two leaves across the stem. I fill the pot with our custom potting mix and then I poke a hole with a chopstick and plant the cuttings. Thank god I realized I didn't hit record early but anyway, <laughs> as you can see the polka dot plant has rooted pretty well and I have been wanting to repot it. The growth has become kind of leggy and I also want this to be more compact. It's going to be going in this small clay pot too, just one size bigger. To propagate, I snip the stem between leaves and will just plant the cuttings. I feel like the safer bet is with water propagations, but I just want to try doing it directly with soil. That's part of the fun with plant keeping. You get to experiment, try things out, discover for yourself what works. So I bought the Kalan Koi the same time as when I bought the terracotta pots, but Dummy me, I didn't account for it when getting the pots and so I don't have a clay pot for it. The third pot was supposed to be for my Syngonium but I decided I have different plans for it. Now since the Kalankobi is a succulent, I really would rather have it on a clay pot. So note to self, I need one for the Kalankobi next time I go to the store. Anyway, this plastic pot will be its cash bow for now. So that's all the repotting for now. Uh, I just watered them in the bathroom. I like to thoroughly soak them and then just let them all drain. And it's still leaking some water. There are cool things I want to do in the balcony actually. So I wanted to move the bougainvillea towards this wall. It really needs the support against the wind and primarily because boogies love the sun and that location gets eastern sun but also some western sun from 12 to 3 or even 5 p.m. depending on the season. My concern is the rain as boogies don't like getting watered frequently but I guess I'll cross that bridge when I get there. We're not having a rainy season yet. So you guys, I had an unexpected trip to the garden center and of course, I just had to buy some plants. Look what I got here. I have this asparagus fern. Look how lovely that is. So, oh, that is super dry. Yeah, this needs to be watered ASAP. And 
this succulent bay over here. Oh, that's actually quite heavy. I've seen this growing on the wall of some apartment nearby around the neighborhood and it's just like it has taken over the entire wall. This is this very small flowers. And supposedly easy to grow. And the last is this petonia. Look at that. So yay, exciting, kind of moist, but it is a succulent, so, oh god, I'm making a mess on the carpet, yeah, I need to deal with the asparagus fern, like ASAP, needs water, so, well, that is way too deep. That's way too deep, but no, oh, looks cute, right? And asparagus ferns like to be moist all the time. What here? Cutie! Can't wait for it to grow. After some thinking, I decided I wanted to change the planter of the baby sunrose succulent. So I'm gonna do a repot, but not a repot repot, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm gonna use this ceramic planter where my periwinkle propagations failed. It's a nice fit, I just needed to fill tiny gaps in the sides a bit. So I guess you can call it a repot repot. <laughs> and this loves the sun, so I've got the perfect spot for it. I've placed our newly propagated babies outside so they can get more light to supplement their growth. I took pity on this jade plant, it's just not happy in that location so I'm experimenting to see if it will do better inside. Hopefully it doesn't stretch and I just noticed my syngonium is doing something funky. It wasn't like this the day before, what's up with it? The collection is increasing and I'm so excited. Actually, to be honest, I actually I had actually ordered plants last night and they should come in a few days. So <laughs> so I can't wait for the delivery and be on the lookout for that one. That should be the next video. And until then, take care guys and see you in the next one.